So I fucked up. I bought some cheddar with the best intentions and then I forgot about her. It happens to the best of us and I forgive myself. But what we're not going to do is throw her away because we don't punish Jesus for our own wrongdoings. We're going to use a sharp chef's knife to remove the mold. Depending on the severity, you can slice it off or just slightly scrape it. We'll toss the mold. So I for one hate throwing food away. I will do anything to prevent throwing food away, especially cheese. But in a case like this with that much mold on it, you should definitely be throwing it away. So visual mold on the surface like this isn't just on the surface. It goes into the cheese as well. So while yes, you can cut the mold off of hard cheeses, you should be cutting at least an inch around and below the mold spot. And this one had just mold covering the surface. So cutting it off would apply to maybe a very small spot or a couple small spots that you can cut an inch around and an inch underneath. Also make sure you are not touching that knife to the mold. Don't cut through the mold because then you're cross contaminating all of the cheese that you're cutting through. In addition, if you're going to touch the mold with your hand, make sure you're washing your hand before you touch the rest of that cheese because once again, you are cross contaminating it. Now that cutting mold off of cheese an inch around and below the mold spot applies to hard cheeses, not soft cheeses. If you see mold on soft cheeses, uh, you need to throw those away. Soft cheeses are generally higher in water activity and you can have harmful bacteria growing along with that mold. It could be contaminated all throughout that cheese, so cutting off a piece of it wouldn't necessarily get rid of it. Of course, if you are immunocompromised or have a mold allergy, even a small spot of mold on hard cheese, uh, you might wanna discard the whole thing because there is still a potential for mold to be in the cheese, even when you're cutting an inch around it and an inch below it. For most people, doing that would be safe, but if you are in a higher risk group, you might just decide to throw it away. And yes, I'm aware there are some types of cheese that contain mold as a part of the manufacturing process. Those are safe to eat. These molds that grow on it that are not a part of the manufacturing process are different and they can be dangerous. Even for these types of cheese that contain mold as a part of the manufacturing process, they can grow dangerous molds in them as well. So I know food waste sucks. Throwing away a large block of cheese like that is not fun, but food poisoning is a lot less fun.